when people used to talk about type A personalities, I used to think, yeah, I know people like that. I never thought that I was one of them necessarily because I wasn't the stereotypical type A personality that worked in corporate. I wasn't competitive. But in many ways, I did have that drive and that yearning to share my message and to work really hard. And it's really interesting because I see it amongst many different work environments and de- and whether it's the wellness industry with a yoga teacher, whether it's a lawyer and someone is, uh, is being told that they're going to make partner, if only they get this case, if only they do that, it, it, there's that story. How does that work for you now with the work that you do? Hmm. Does it show up, do you mean, the yeah. A time? Yeah. Yeah, what shows up more or has shown up more recently is uh, in recent years is the perfectionist. And I think that mm-hmm. kind of for me has gone hand in hand with the with the A-type personality because certainly when I worked uh, in, in government and in corporate, I, I, you know, nothing could pass my desk that wasn't 100% perfect. And I have relaxed a lot since then. And, and as a business owner, in many ways you have to because you have to balance pragmatism with with any sort of perfectionistic streak that you have because otherwise you never launch anything because it's never quite yeah. you never quite get it get it to your the daily that success you want. cannot be determined by the amount of things you've ticked off or the amount of emails in your inbox otherwise you're right you'll never launch anything yeah yeah so but for me uh, I still notice in myself this desire for every program that I create to be perfect. So then perfect according to my, you know, sense of what perfect is. And I really have to watch myself where where I can, I have to get to a point which I do where I step back and I just observe, have you gone, are you now just running on some kind of mental concept of, of what it's got to be about? And, are you, and, it, and is this, are you making decisions now from a base of, fear that people will judge the work yeah. or are you making or are you making decisions based on this this doesn't feel energetically complete and when i can i can distinguish that then i can i can step back from any sort of a type personality behavior yeah. and and i can see her for what she is and mm. I, I think what the other thing that that really happened to me in my journey over the four years, the healing journey was that I became very, very attuned to the feeling of pushing. Yeah. So there's right. a, there's a kind of an energetic that goes that that accompanies exhaustion for me, mm. and I'm I'm now so attuned to it that the minute that I feel myself doing it, I stop because. I really did at the end of the four years learn to stop. And and so now I rather than what I have done in the what I had done in the past, which was I can feel that I'm pushing, I can feel that I'm exhausted, I'm just gonna keep going and keep going and then I'll stop later on, you know, in a few hours yeah. time or whatever. I now immediately stop. I go and I lay on my bed, I do a yoga nidra, I just take some time out and then I see how I feel and I've got so much more perspective now that I just everything seemed to be urgent at one point in my life and I've got no idea yeah. <laughs> like I thought, you know the ego it's just crazy and it's you know this you've just got to get it all done it's got to get it all yeah. done and and now I really have that reflection of there are very few times in my working calendar of a year let's say where anything is genuinely urgent Mm. I schedule things so that during launch time whenever I'm launching sure there's there's a lot that goes on for a business owner when they're launching a program Mm. or a product Mm. Uh, but aside from that I'm my own boss so if Mm. I'm not giving myself the time then I may as well go back to corporate law or Mm. something if I so, so it, it definitely, I couldn't do the job I do now if I was still replicating those behaviours mm. from the past. Mm. I just couldn't do it. And I'm also very fortunate that I get to meet people one-to-one. And, and by doing that, I'm doing a lot of, I'm working with people and healing them, but there's this kind of reciprocal thing that happens when you're a healer where, 
where people's Definitely. issues get shown, there's there's somehow reflective of your own. You end up a lot of healing work. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. that's right. So, I love what I, you said think... about pushing as well and no longer pushing. I think that's a really valuable thing. It's uh, it's something you and I mentioned just before we started this chakra chat as well with um, with the forty day chakra balance e course that I launched. I I was very conscious of not pushing. And that sense of urgency that I must admit I had when I first conceptualized the idea was not something that was sustainable because that sense of urgency was coming from fear. And I mean, that's one of the demons of our, our foundation because if we fear that we won't have enough or be enough or earn enough, we're going to be perpetuating a vicious cycle that our foundation will be built on. And so we're gonna keep manifesting that. And I mean, the irony of me having a third adrenal burnout whilst putting together a chakra balance e-course was, was too much for me to bear. <laughs> and so, Indeed. yeah, and so I also learned not to push, to let it unfold organically. And the way it happened was really beautiful because I didn't want to be happy once the e-course was launched. I wanted to be happy whilst I was producing it because I, I learned so much. I learned so much about the online world. I was able to put a team together that was quite a global team and the process was so much more enjoyable. And it was really interesting how fear would sometimes sneak in of, um, okay, well, you better you better release it at Christmas and the money will come. If you, mm. if you have the energy that money won't come because uh, of fear or, or of a, a lack of something, you're going to manifest it invariably. Mm.